and here we go. It's going to cycle through and wipe everything for us. Hey everyone, TV Chef here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Fire TV without a remote control. If you're interested in this product or some other Fire TV devices, I'll have some links in the video description for you. Step one is to identify where your power button is. Usually it's front and center at the bottom or off to one of the sides. So in this case, with our particular model, we have it right here. So how we're going to do this is we're going to unplug the TV. We're going to hold down the power button and plug the TV back in and keep holding down the power button until the TV powers on. And here we go. Now we can release the power button and we're going to access our developer back end menu, whatever you want to call it, where we can then conduct our reset. Here's a look at that menu. It's technically the Android recovery menu where any button cycles the highlight and a long press activates it. So we have multiple options here. So we could just reboot the system, but what we want to do is a factory reset. So take that power button, press it, press it again. Now we're going to hold it, long press, and there we go. We just activated it. Now we have a confirmation, wipe all data, select yes, turn green, and here we go. It's going to cycle through and wipe everything for us. So super quick. Everything's already done. So let's go back in here now and select reboot the system. And here we go. Got our Insignia Fire TV screen. Fire TV, everything's loading up like it should. And now we're prompted to choose our language and complete the setup process. At this stage, you'll see our remote control still works. If your remote control is not synced up, don't worry. Just go ahead, hold down the home button for around 10, 15 seconds or so. You might even see a light flashing here and you'll be able to then have the remote paired back with your TV. 